welcome back students so in this video we will discuss about the improvements in the technology for using non for using conventional sources of energy okay so biomass biomass is defined as the total mass of all the living orga organisms in an ecosystem so the energy de derived from the remains remains of the living organism and the excreta of uh, and from animals it includes dry leaves wooden shavings agriculture waste like the residue left after extracting juice from sugar cane etc so wood we will use as a fuel so wood is a fuel wood is still used as a fuel to cook food cook food in many places uh, in small open furnace known as chulas and also in industrial boilers when wood is used as a fuel it is called fire wood disadvantages of burning food directly as a fuel what are the disadvantages of wood when we use it directly as a fuel or fire wood first thing the calorific value of wood is very low so it produce it will not produce sufficient amount of heat or in other words if you want to get sufficient amount of heat then we need to burn a large quantity of wood okay using wood as a fuel leads to cutting down of trees in forest that is deforestation that affects our ecosystem and our environment burning of wood produces a large amount of smoke and harmful gases which pollute air means it leads to air pollution wood occupies a large area and it is very difficult to transport from one place to another so it is not compact and convenient to use. convenient to use it as a fuel the wood does not burn completely then it produces a large amount of residue so wood is a renewable source of energy to some extent but if we can ensure the enough trees are planted okay we can consider it as a renewable source of energy to some extent but make sure that enough number of trees are planted okay uh, afforestation programs can be encouraged to uh, get a continuous supply of firewood the second point animal dung cakes example cow dung cakes uh, we are using as a fuel so what are the disadvantages of this cow dung cakes or animal dung cakes when we use it as a fuel cow dung or animal dung cakes contain important nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus which are required for by the soil for the proper growth and the development of the crops that grows in the soil so burning of animal dung as a fuel destroys that useful nutrition which otherwise could be used as a manure in agriculture animal dung cakes have low calorific value so we need uh, to burn a large amount of cow dung cake to get or to obtain a required heat animal dung cakes do not burn completely as it produces a large amount of uh, ash and also it produces residue 
Cow dung cakes produce a large amount of smoke and harmful gases on burning which causes air pollution. Animal dung cake uh, can be considered as a renewable source of energy because they are continuous supply by large livestock population in India. Okay. Now, we need to improve the efficiency of these fuels. So, technological improvements should be there to improve the efficiency of these fuels are very important. So, how we can improvise this non-conventional uh, sources of energy means with the help of technology we can convert this wood into charcoal. So, when you burn charcoal, no residue will be there and smoke will not be there. Okay. So, it, when, we, when we burn this uh, wood, it leads to atmospheric pollution, it leads, uh, it, uh, residue will be there. But when we burn charcoal, then that issue can be minimized. So, how we can improvise this? non-conventional sources of energy with the help of technology. Okay. Technological advancement has enabled us to convert less efficient fuel like wood into a more efficient fuel called charcoal. Charcoal is prepared by heating wood in closed vessel in a limited supply of oxygen. When wood is heated strongly in a closed vessel in a limited supply of oxygen, water and volatile material present in it is removed and, and left uh, and a black residue called charcoal is left behind. This process is called destructive distillation of wood. Now, what a uh, technological advancement has enabled us to convert animal dung into more efficient fuel called biogas. Biogas is obtained by anaerobic fermentation of animal dung in the presence of water. Biogas is produced in a plant called biogas plant or gober gas plant. Gober gas is a mixture of methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and traces of hydrogen sulphate. The main component of biogas is methane up to 75 percentage of volume. Methane is an extremely good fuel. So, biogas is a source of energy that is directly obtained from plants and animals such as wood, agriculture, waste, cow dung, cakes. It produces biomass and it can be used as a fuel for a long time. It produces smoke during burning, but it does not produce much heat. So, low calorific value for wood. Now, what are the advantages of charcoal? Charcoal is having a high calorific value when we compare with that of wood. Uh, it does not produce smoke while burning. It does not produce smoke while burning. Okay. It is easy to um, store and transport. Uh, it is having a high calorific value. Then cow dung cake it produces when it is burned it produces a lots of smoke. It does not burn completely. It is having low calorific value and it produces ash. No, so, so in biogas plant, we can convert this um, animal dung into mm, most efficient fuel called biogas. A biogas plant is a dome like structure built with bricks where cow dung and other bio waste are mixed with water into form a slurry and put it into the digester. The digester is a sealed chamber when anaerob with anaerobic bacteria which breaks down the slurry. 
The decomposition process releases gases like methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide. So, the biogas plant is a, uh, consists a digester, mixing tank and an overflow tank. Digester it is a well shaped underground tank. The roof of the digester tank is made in the form of a dome. The dome shaped structure has a gas tank act as a storage tank for the biogas. There is a biogas outlet pipe at the top of the dome having a gas valve. This is the output gas outlet. Mixing tank. On the left side of the digester, mixing tank is a mixing tank lying above the ground and the bottom of the mixing tank is connected to the digester tank through an inlet chamber. This is an inlet chamber. This one is a mixing tank. Overflow tank. On the right side of the digester, there is an overflow tank lying below the ground. The bottom of the overflow is connected to the base of the digester tank through an outlet chamber. Now, what is the work, how it works? Cattle dung, uh, cattle dung and water is mixed in equal proportions in the mixing tank to prepare a semi-fluid mixture called slurry. Slurry. The slurry so prepared is passed into passed on to the underground digester tank through the inlet chamber. The digester tank is a sealed chamber in which there is no oxygen. It is in the digester tank where the slurry is decomposed in about 60 days by anaerobic bacteria to produce biogas. The biogas produced get collected in the gas tank. As the biogas keep collecting in the dome, it exerts pressure on the spent slurry in the digester tank. This pressure forces the spent slurry to flow into the overflow tank through the outlet chamber. The spent slurry is gradually removed from the overflow tank. The spent slurry is rich in nitrogen and phosphorus compounds, so it can be taken in fields as a manure. The biogas which has collected in the tank is taken out through the outlet pipe and can be used as required. To get a continuous supply of biogas, fresh dung slurry is added to the digesting, digester tank periodically to replace the spent spent slurry. It's an a biogas is an excellent fuel. It is an excellent manure because it is rich in nitrogen and phosphorus, efficient and safe method to waste disposal. Now what are the uses of biogas? Biogas can be used as a fuel for cooking food, it can be used for lightning purpose, it can be used for driving engine of water pump set up for irrigation. Next one is wind energy. Moving air is called wind. Unequal heating of land masses and water bodies by the solar radiations generates air movement and cause wind to blow. Wind possesses kinetic energy. So the energy of wind is used to propel the sailboats to transport man and materials from one place to another. At, this, at one time this was the only way to travel by sea. Sail boats are still used however by fishermen in our country and else and also it is used for sports activities. The wind energy it was harnessed by windmills to do mechanical work for lifting a uh, water lifting pump. The rotatory motion of the windmill's blade is utilized to lift water from a well. In flow mill, the rotatory motion of the blades of the windmill is utilized to rotate the millstone to grind grains like wheat, corn into flour. Then the construction of wind 
generator wind turbine generator is a technological modification modified windmill it consists of a rotor to which a large size blades are fixed the arrangement of the rotor and its blades is known as a wind turbine the wind turbine is fixed on the top of a tall tower in such a way that the rotor and its blades are free to rotate the shaft of the wind turbine is connected to the generator and when the generator and it produces electricity the working of wind uh, turbine generator when a fast moving wind uh, more than 20 km per hour strikes the blades of the wind turbine it exerts force on the blades the blades of the wind turbine starts rotating and the shaft of the wind turbine also starts rotating the rotating shaft of the wind turbine rotates the armature of the generator and electricity is produced what are the advantages of this wind energy it's an eco friendly and efficient source of energy it does not cause any environmental pollution it's a renewable source of energy it's available free of cost what are the limitations in harnessing wind energy wind energy farm cannot be established anywhere wind energy farm can be established only at those places where wind blows for greater part of the year and that too blows at a speed of more than 20 km per hour to maintain the required speed of the turbine the wind energy farm needs backup facilities even when the wind energy farms are established the wind does not blow all the year, days of the year at desired speed and in desired direction so there should be some backup facilities like storage cells to take care of the energy needs during a period when there is no wind wind energy farm needs large area establishment of wind energy farm requires large area this area can be vacant land free from forest and human settlements for 1 megawatt generator the wind energy farm needs about 2 hectares of land now it is uh, this wind energy farm we are constructing in uh, agriculture fields also so uh, we can use it for agriculture purpose the land can be used for agriculture purpose the wind energy farm high uh, require high cost of maintenance the reason is that the tower and the blades of this windmill are exposed to the nature like rain storm cyclone etc so they need a high level of maintenance so the cost of maintenance is very high the setup uh, installation cost is also very high for wind mill eco friendly efficient source of energy wind is a natural phenomena caused by the pressure differential due to unequal heating of the surface of the earth the output of a single windmill is very low therefore the wind farms are built and that comprises that comprises of several windmills it's a windmill farm okay advantages eco friendly efficient and renewable source of energy uh, limitations wind speed should be greater than uh, 15 to 20 km per hour Uh, must have backup storage facilities require a large area nowadays we are using that area for agriculture purpose high initial cost installation cost is very high and requires regular maintenance since the whole windmill and the blade is exposed to nature okay these are the limitations of wind energy thank you